So I'm moving away from all of my APS-C cameras. I've decided to go full frame all the way around. As I do this, uh, make this move, I've wanted to cover uh, all of the APS-C cameras that I've used up until uh, this point. In my last video, I talked about uh, the Nikon ZFC and how that one was really gonna be a hard one to move on from because I've thoroughly enjoyed using that camera, especially for photography. My next camera, which of course is the one that I'm filming on right now, is probably going to be even harder to set aside and move away from because uh, not only is it just a great all-around camera for both photography and videography, um, I hold a lot of sentimental value to the camera as well, but uh, we'll talk about it. And now we're up to uh, really the final camera that I want to talk about uh, as far as uh, my APS-C cameras that I'm moving away from choosing full frame instead from this point forward. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm filming on it right now. Of course, it's uh, the Canon M50. And this one holds uh, a fair amount of sentimental value uh, with me. It was really the first official camera that I purchased whenever I decided to start this journey. Of course, back then, I wasn't really uh, focused much on photography. All I wanted to do was start making YouTube videos. Um, so I was really, you know, mainly focused on videography. Originally, I thought I just wanted to vlog. I wasn't sure um, exactly what the subject was going to be, but uh, I decided whatever it was going to be, I was going to vlog about it. And at that time, there were really two main cameras that uh, a lot of YouTubers were talking about. Uh, there was the Canon G7X and of course the Canon M50 and just tons and tons of videos about both cameras. I ended up deciding on the Canon M50 and I have never ever regretted that decision. From day one, just straight out of the box uh, and with the kit lens, it was perfect for a shooting video. It was great for talking head videos like we're doing right now, and it was lightweight and easy enough to carry around for a vlogging. But somewhere along the way, I decided to start taking a few pictures and soon realized that uh, this camera actually takes great photos. time I didn't know a whole lot about photography and even with my limited knowledge at that point uh, I was very surprised with the overall results and 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens uh, I used it for quite a while and then eventually realized that uh, adding some different glass to the camera could really make a huge difference uh, there of course uh, was the 22 millimeter uh, the pancake lens that is a great lens for the Canon M50 also, the Nifty 50, the 50 millimeter uh, f1.8, that was really an excellent, an excellent lens for uh, this particular camera. And then from there, I started experimenting with some vintage lenses, uh, which also performed very well on the Canon M50. And even now that it's been a few years, I still find myself reaching for the Canon M50 uh, quite often. It's still my favorite camera to use for video. And if I'm heading out and just want a lightweight camera to carry around and uh, capture a few shots here and there, that's just the perfect choice. So while the other cameras I've talked about uh, might actually consider selling them off, uh, the Canon M50, this is one that I might actually hang on to. Uh, for quite some time. I see no reason for not continuing to use it 
uh, especially for video. And with the right lenses, uh, it really is an incredible little camera. And I still think that uh, for anyone uh, brand new to photography or videography or someone wanting to get started with YouTube and looking for a first camera, I think the Canon M50 would be a great choice.